viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode we continue looking at the August 2022 science paper 2 which is basically the standard O level chemistry. In the previous episode we looked at question B5 so let us continue from where we ended with a question B6. The following table shows elements coded with letters Q to Y which do not represent the actual symbol of any of the elements in the periodic table. You will need to use these letters in some of your answers. Question A. Which element shown Roman numeral 1 forms ions with a single negative charge? So a single negative charge implies that uh, this is a non-metal element because it has a net negative charge meaning it has gained an extra electron because remember an element has the same number of electrons and the protons so you see a neutral element once it has a positive or negative charge it means it, it has uh, either gained an additional electron making it a negative or lost an electron making it a positive element. Thus, you see, becomes an ion. Let us look at the options. We have R which is a metal. So R, S, U, T, they are metals. Even V. Then we have Y, W, and D, X. Y is an innate gas, which is uh, all elements in group O. So if you look at uh, W and X, these are the ones that are in group 7, meaning they are led to gain an additional electron to have a complete outer shell. So once they gain that uh, extra electron, they have a negative charge. So basically, the answers are basically W and X so these two so W and or, or X so these any of these will be a collect or both that's what we are saying W and or X then a Loma numeral 2 has three electrons in its outermost shell so this is a group a three element so what we have or a transition element so what we have in this case we have group one group two then uh, this is a group three so group three is basically v then a beam how many protons does an atom of element y contain so element y basically what you can do you can go to the periodic table we we'll see what y is. So y will notice that y is this one which is uh, idiom. So idiom has got proton number of 2. So if you go back there and see you notice that it has 2 protons. So basically you see 2 protons. Question C. State the element which is the most reactive. So basically Loma numeral 1 of C metal so among these what you notice in this case is the activity of metals increases as you move down the period then of uh, non metals as you go up you notice that w this should be a fluorine which is the most uh, reactive non metal then in this case we're going to have a t t will be the most reactive metal then w will be the most reactive non metal so you go there t is the most reactive then w is the most reactive non metal we look at question d deduce the formula of the compound formed between elements u and w so what is u so u is basically a group 2 so group 2 meaning u as a valence of 2 is willing to uh, give away 2 electrons to uh, have a complete outermost shell 
then W is willing to get one additional electron to uh, complete its outermost shell. So what you do is to deduce the formula, you close at the valences. So what you notice we're going to have uh, U, then W, 2, 1. This is uh, the simplified, so it's just going to be U, then W, 2, like this. So this uh, basically is going to be the formula. So when you come to here, the answer, it will be U, W, 2, as in the answer. So basically, this is how you answer this question to get the 60 max.